Greenbrier. This plant grows across most of uh, South, Central, and Northern Eastern United States, and even in the Central United States. There are tropical and subtropical species that can survive even in South, uh, South, South America, and even in places like China and general parts of Asia. What we're talking about is a plant called Smilax, or Greenbrier. Um, I can't speak for potential lookalikes in these other regions, foreign nations, but for here, the only real uh, lookalike is Virginia creeper. So if we look at this plant really closely, what we can see is we have one leaf that comes out on the left side, and on either side of the leaf, there are two tendrils. And then you go up the plant a little bit more, there's another leaf on the opposite side, and two tendrils. And it keeps doing that upon its entire growth pattern. Virginia creeper does not have that. The other way you can identify is looking at the leaves. The leaves are pretty glossy, kind of a dark green usually, and they're almost a heart shape, not quite, but almost. The thorns on the briar itself are straight instead of curved like blackberry. And the entire plant itself is green, and the stems will become very woody after about spring. Now the time you want to harvest these plants is in spring when the fresh shoots are coming up. The fresh shoots are really soft, almost like asparagus in texture, and it is one of the few plants that actually contain protein. Uh, it actually contains a pretty healthy amount of protein, and that's why this plant is a really important one to know about. Also, you can dig the roots up and use them as a medicinal supplement. It's, uh, the roots act like a diuretic. The choice portion of the plant is the spring shoots. And the easiest way to harvest them is just to walk through the woods. You'll find these growing as vines, up trees, and in the underbrush. You just break it off. And you can wash it, you can make it into a salad, you can eat it as is. The texture is really soft. Because the shoot is as fresh as it is, their thorns are soft. They're not sharp, they're not stiff, they're not rigid yet. So, this is a good plant to know about. A great spring edible. Just another one to add to your survival toolbox. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't already, hit that bell dingling icon down below. You'll get notified every single time to upload a new video. Uh, upload weekly, Saturdays at 12 o'clock. For now, hopefully this summer that will not change like it does almost every summer. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.